Hey, what's going on? It's Jaybird here. And today we're going to be talking about some of the five best ways to rank up in the lower ranks of bronze and silver. If you're bronze and silver, you probably just downloaded the game recently and you're just getting into it. But obviously you want to get better and that's why you're watching this video. So my goal today is to help you get out of the ranks within the next few days. So we have five topics that we'll be talking about and breaking down in depth. Topic one is stop whiffing. Topic two is movement and movement efficiency, being efficient around the field. And then the third topic is teammates and how to trust them and not trust them. And then fourth, we're going to talk about shooting. And fifth, we're going to be talking about aerials. And you may be thinking, what's an aerial? I'm in bronze and silver. I have no idea what that term even means. But trust me, you'll know. Trust me. On to topic one, the whiff. The whiff plagues all ranks in Rocket League. Not just the lower ranks, it plagues even the highest ranks of Grand Champion. From bronze to Grand Champion, to supersonic legend, you'll always be whiffing at some point or another. And one of the easiest ways to fix that is your camera settings. I recommend pausing on these camera settings. If your camera settings are default, just copy these straight off the bat or go find a pro's camera settings and copy them directly. Step two is having ball cam on. Always use ball cam. The only time you should turn ball cam off is if you're dribbling, which you probably don't know how to do yet, or if you're going for a boost, which is, but you should only have it off for a split second. Other than that, you should always have ball cam on. Otherwise, you'll lose track of the ball and everything will be so much harder for you. So once you have camera settings and your ball cam down, the next step is to go into free play and hit the ball as hard as you can. Just do this for like 10 minutes every day before you play your games. Just hit the ball hard and try to hit it as quickly as possible again as hard as you can. Now your free play probably won't look like what you see on the screen right now. Mine's not even that great. But trust me, if you just do this every day for 10 minutes or even 5 minutes if you really hate free play that much, you'll get so much better so much quicker and you'll stop whiffing the ball. On to our next subject, we have movement. And one of the big steps in movement is drifting. And before we start, I recommend going into your control binds and taking drift and putting it on LB of your controller. Okay? That's one of my biggest tips for you. If you're on keyboard and mouse, you should be fine. But take drift and bind it to LB. Okay? Because that'll help you so much. It'll be so much easier to drift. So then, to work on your drifts, I recommend going to free play like I am here and you hit the ball and then you drift and turn and you hit the ball again and you just go back and forth like this and try to do figure eights and basically just make sure you're turning left and right. You don't just get stuck on one side and those are 180 degree drifts. Now, secondly, I want you to practice 90 degree drift and to do that, just hop into free play for like a minute and then drive to a boost and then do try to do a 90 degree turn and line up with the next boost perfectly. You can see I'm overturning a little bit here. You want to try to line up with the next boost, and that's how you'll know you'll do it. You're doing it right. And make sure you go both ways and you don't just get stuck going to one side. So then the next thing I want you to go learn is half flips. I'm not going to do a full tutorial on those in here, but basically in the middle of your back flip, you'll push forwards, and then you'll air roll to the side. I'm going to link a half flip tutorial video in the description so that you can go learn that right after this, because I don't have enough time to teach it to you here entirely, but I know you got this. And just a friendly reminder, this is a very new channel and I'm still getting started. So a like or a comment would be really appreciated. And if you enjoy the content, drop a sub. Uh, I'm just getting started here. So anything would be greatly appreciated. On to our next topic, teammates. Teammates are very interesting in Rocket League. Makes you happy, makes you mad, mostly mad. But anyways, I have two teammates in this match. I have this guy, and I have the other guy. And in this game, I was a bad teammate. So we're going to be talking about how to deal with teammates, and you're going to see some examples of how not to deal with them by my gameplay. So basically, step one in dealing with teammates is don't trust them to do everything good. So here, I didn't trust him, but I still went up for the ball and double committed. And that brings me to step two. Don't double commit. If you think your teammate might go for a ball, don't go for it. Now, if the ball's coming towards the net and it's clearly on target, 
and you think your teammate's not going to hit it, it's a really hard shot to save, go for the ball. Okay? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when you don't when with you when you don't trust your teammates, don't go for the same ball. What I suggest is staying back and far enough to where you can deal with it if they completely whiff and the other team clears it. So try to keep your space between your teammates. I know you're low ranks and people don't hit the ball that hard, but still don't go get caught up in a bunch of in the same space. It's okay to slow down and stay back. Um, you'll win more games that way because you'll stay on offense more by clearing the ball back to the other team's side by not getting all up in everybody's faces. On to our next topic, we have shooting. And shooting the ball at the net. And I know that y'all are struggling a lot with whiffing. I still do. I'm champ, and I still struggle with whiffing sometimes. But basically, the key to shooting is practicing, hitting the ball where you want to hit it. And one of the best ways to do that is in training. And for you, because you're bronze and silver, I recommend just going in and getting into the built-in training packs that they have for you. Now, if you're bronze, you literally just downloaded the game. Um, I recommend hopping into the rookie training pack. If you're silver, you kind of know what you're doing. Maybe go for the intermediate or even the all-star training pack, depending on how good you think you are. But basically, what your goal should be is to hit the ball into the net as hard as you can. And as you rank up and get better, you want to hit the ball towards the top of the net. But for now, hitting the ball hard into the net, your opponents won't be able to react in time, and you'll score a lot more goals that way. So just go through the training pack, maybe try each shot three times, and try, try to score each shot three times. And you see there, I just I just whiffed this shot, and I'm champ. How did I do that? The ball's sitting still. And uh, honestly, the balls that are sitting still are harder to score, in my opinion, than balls that are moving. But Trust me, practicing this for five minutes every day, it'll help you get better at shooting. I recommend 10 minutes, but you know what I'm saying. And now we have our fifth and final topic. We're talking about aerials. Now, you're bronze and silver. You may not know what an aerial is, but basically, it's what I'm doing right here. It is flying up in the air and aerialing. Your aerials won't look anything like that, but you have to start somewhere, right? So, I recommend going into rookie aerial training, okay? So how you aerial is you jump and you tilt your car back and then you boost into the ball. Now, it'll be really hard for you and you'll probably miss. When I first did this, it took me 20 tries to hit the first ball in. 20. So I recommend driving up close to the ball and then jumping and hitting it. You don't want to fly from all the way back here because that'll be really hard for you because you're just now learning to aerial. So basically, you just jump, tilt your car back, and boost into it. That's a base, That's a really basic aerial and something you'll need to learn eventually. Now, most people wouldn't teach you that at this rank, but tr if you can learn to do this, you'll get from bronze to silver and silver to gold really quickly if you can get good at going up a little bit in the air to hit the ball. And I recommend practicing this for 10 minutes every day, just the rookie aerial training, and try to hit the ball into the net. Even if it's slow like you just saw there, that's better. that's better than missing it, right? Or waiting for it to come down and not being able to hit it. Now to sum up, we talked about five things. First was whiffing. The second was movement, efficiency, drifting, and half flips. And just being quick with your movement on the field and learning how to use it properly. The third thing we talked about was teammates. How to trust them, how to not trust them, and give them space. Um, uh, try to stay behind them. And then third, we talked about shooting and how to practice shooting and to get better at putting the ball in the net. And that was actually fourth, but fifth, we talked about aerials and just learning to aerial basics and how to do that and how to practice it. So that's about gonna wrap it up for your bronze to silver rank ups. It'll help you get to gold even, you can probably even get to platinum if you just practice these things and get good at them. But that's about gonna sum it up for the video. Um, don't forget to like and drop a comment. Uh, it'd be really appreciated and it'd really help this channel grow. I have like no subscribers, so yeah. Anyways, I'll be coming out with the gold to platinum rank up video very soon um, within the next week and stick around for that. Hopefully you'll be up to those ranks by then and uh, you can even get up to diamond and champ next. Anyways, 
Thanks for watching.